guys, welcome back to my channel. I know today I look a bit like weird. I look a bit different because I don't have any eye makeup on because I gotta go for something later. So I can't wear eye makeup. So if you are wondering why my eyes are so much smaller, yeah, that's the reason. This like low-key looks like my makeup routine when I was 15. Just that the brows are better. Like, do you actually see my brows when I was like 15? It's super super like, they are like almost touching. Like they're holding hands. So yeah. Let's just not go back to that anymore. But I'll try to find a picture for you guys. Cause you know for the lols. So this is a highly requested video on how I cleared my skin. How I got rid of my acne scars and prevent acne. If you have been following me and um, you know, watching my videos, you should know that when I was around maybe 16, I had really really bad skin and I had like constant breakouts. Like you can see in my makeup tutorials where I'm not wearing my makeup and yup, it looks bad. My skin was super super dull. Honestly, my skin improved drastically. For me, the process that I had really really bad skin, it's a bit hard for me to do so because like the change is so drastic. So today I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on all the procedures that I've done and how I maintain my skin on a daily basis and whatnot. So back date to when I was 16, this is how my skin looked like. It's very very bad. When I saw this picture again a few days ago, I was actually pretty shocked. And if I'm not wrong, like I think I have cystic acne. I, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but my acne was like really really painful and cystic acne, ac cystic acne is like painful and it's actually really really deep in your skin so it's very very hard to heal and if you poke it, it, it will leave like a pretty bad scarring. Honestly, I was struggling with my confidence because of my skin uh, whenever I did makeup tutorials and I Honestly, I'll tell you guys, a lot of people say like I look really shitty without makeup and stuff. Like even like now, I look so much better without makeup. My skin was super super dull. I had so much scarring and I had like existing pimples. So it made my no makeup look look so much worse than it actually is. So at that point, I thought I would never be able to, you know, fix my skin. I thought that I would never, you know, kind of recover. Okay, so I usually like break out a lot before my period. I think that's very, very common among, amongst women and girls. And I, I always, always, always prick my pimple because like, I don't know, maybe like in class you're bored and you like poke your pimple. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I do. And sometimes you don't even know you're doing it. So your fingers are very, very dirty. So when you poke your pimple, the germs are going to spread and when the pus, like, you know when your pimple bursts and like the pus comes out and it spreads to the other parts of your face, it's also going to get infected and this is how your condition gets worse. And yeah, since I like to poke it, I had super a lot of scarring and I had to get rid of it. I, I'm like, I'm not going to live with this shit anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna go um, very deep into everything, but if you guys do have questions at the end of this video, feel free to DM me or comment down below and I will try my best to answer everyone. Okay, so I'm very very thankful because at that point of time, I was working and I am working with Clifford Clinic, so that's why um, they help me to clear my skin a lot as well. Uh, my doctor is Dr. E and he has been a big part of my skincare journey and also my aesthetic journey. Okay, so firstly, I got a laser treatment which helped me to get rid of my acne scars um, slowly. And if you do not know what um, laser treatment is, it's basically something where you can get rid of pigmentation as well, like for example, tattoos and like dark spots on your face. So I got that for my acne scarring. And I will like insert a clip where I show you guys like the like how my skin looks right now because right now I have foundation on. So this is not really like a true form of my face. So um, this is how I look without makeup. Um, this is how my skin looks. You can barely see that much scarring compared to last time. Um, it's super super minimal and almost um, barely visible I would say. Okay, so I also got Hydra Facial which helped me get rid of my dead skin cells. Um, 
it helps with congestion in your skin and also uh, it gets rid of blackheads and whiteheads Okay, and I also tried like the blue light treatment. Uh, this is something you guys might want to consider because this helps to kill the bacteria on your face. And all this bacteria actually causes acne. So this is something you might want to try as well. So by getting this uh, treatment, you lessen your chances of getting more acne in the future. I didn't have as much time um, last time, so I only did... Um, the laser treatment about four to five times and maybe even like only four times but like my results were like really really drastic and at Clifford Cleaning they also give you like medicine so you have to religiously apply on your face you know if you want to get better and you want to improve faster so everyone's acne condition and everything is like very different you might not have cystic acne you might have you might you might have like another type of acne or skin problem so I would suggest that you go down to the clinic and have a consultation yourself so you can see what you actually need and I would like I always always urge everyone to get their acne like checked up if you know that you have been having this problem for a very very long time because Scarring is something that is going to be really really hard to get rid of and if you do continue pricking your pimples you're gonna regret in the future in the future you're gonna have like dents and holes in your face and you don't want that like I think I have one like here but it's not that deep so I'm like I'm like pretty lucky that that did not happen to me like but if you see closely you can definitely see like a dent Okay, moving on, I will share with you guys how I uh, maintain my skin and my skincare routine and what I do. Honestly, I'm not like a, I'm not like a crazy skincare person, but I do apply stuff. I would say I only do like the basics so that I have like a nice glow on my skin and I keep my face like moisturized and so it's not uh, too dry. Or not too oily what I do is I cleanse my face uh, when I wake up before I go to bed and sometimes in the shower because when I come back home like I shower and I have to cleanse my makeup and stuff so I also wash my face so my skin is uh, on more of like the combination side so yeah I do get like really oily skin around this area so if you can see like after maybe six hours in my makeup you can see that this area would be like oily and I would have to blot with like tissue and like touch up my makeup kind of if not it will look very gross like sometimes the amount of oil I'm like I'm wondering if I can collect it and like fry like chicken nuggets if I don't touch up my makeup it can look really really bad in pictures especially but what I what I do is that I don't use a cleanser that is so dry on my skin because um, if you use a cleanser that is too dry and your skin like dries out you can have acne as well um, the common misconception is that you can only have acne when your skin is very oily but uh, you can also have acne when your skin is very dry after that I apply a toner to my face and this is to like further cleanse my face because I actually put like pretty heavy makeup all the time not super heavy but like I put foundation and I put concealer and I also like set it with like a setting powder sometimes one cleanse with my makeup wipes is like not enough and those of you who wear makeup you must really really cleanse your face very thoroughly because uh, if you don't it can lead to clogging and then you can have acne also so after I cleanse my face and we use the toner and everything I will apply a generous amount of moisturizer on my face I'm currently using the Celepi Red Sika all-in-one cream this is for acne prone skin although I do have like a lot of acne now but I use this because this is good for people with oilier skin so this moisturizes my face but also helps me to like oil control I actually apply this on my face even um, before I apply my makeup because um, I feel that it helps me when it comes to oil control and so if you're struggling with acne and dull skin I use this because like I also want to like maintain my skin right now and help it look um, more radiant so you can pair this as well with the all clear spot cream so that you can um, maximize your recovery if you get what I mean 
So you use the cream and on top of it you use like the spot cream as well so that you focus on areas that you really need help with. Okay, so the reason why like some of us have oily skin is because like our skin just produces more um, sebum secretion. So these two products will help you lower your production of excess oil and so that you know it doesn't lead to so much acne as well and it also helps you with whitening your skin and also getting rid of blackheads and whiteheads. Another option for you guys who do not have that troubled skin or oily skin like me is the Celope A Repair Light Cream and this is also a, a, another moisturizer that they have. So a lot of you um, always ask me like is this product like good for sensitive skin and stuff like that like whenever I talk about skincare stuff so this moisturizer is especially good for sensitive skin so you do not have to worry. So this moisturizer helps you to lock in the moisture in your skin and and it also helps you to strengthen your skin barrier. So if you guys are wondering if this is only a moisturizer, this is not only a moisturizer but this also helps you to target different skin problems and it helps you to soothe your skin as well. If you guys are interested in these products, you can check out my description box below. Um, I have listed all the products that I'm currently using now on a daily basis. You can purchase all of the products from there and you can also read up on it if you're interested. So I'm going to give some tips on how you can, you know, um, avoid getting more acne or avoid getting acne. Um, so a lot of people don't really wash their bed sheets that often, but you need to wash your bed sheets uh, frequently. No, okay, not frequently. Like maybe once a week, because some of you like drool, and sometimes our hair is very oily. When we rub our face on our pillowcase and stuff, like sometimes all these like germs get to our face, and that is how you also get like your acne breakouts. What I did to also boost my complexion is that I actually did skin boosters. I think I've posted it on Insta story where like like all these micro needles uh, kind of inject stuff in my face. So like there's vitamins and like whatnot. So my doctor always tells me that he has a special concoction <laughs> in, in like the solution that he injects in my face. So his like treatment is I could say special. <laughs> I've actually recommended like a lot of people to go for skin boosters because they ask me like how is my skin so much like whiter and more like radiant and stuff. To give your skin an extra like um, oomph, like you should totally try skin boosters. So skin boosters is something that you can try if you want radiant, uh, more radiant and dewy skin like instantly. So with skin boosters, you can have firmer and smoother skin and it will also help with wrinkles and the reduction of pores on your face. And the skin boosters, like I did it when I already had like pretty clear skin. So it helped me to reduce even more like of my very very light acne scars. Okay, a lot of you ask me how long it lasts. Um, skin boosters generally last about 6 to 8 months. And I think I am overdue already for my skin boosters. <laughs> so I haven't gone to do it but my skin still looks... Um, really good. Why am I complimenting myself? I know I also shared on my Instagram story that taking birth control pills actually helped me a lot um, but that is something that you do not want to really rely on because it's you know it's birth control and guys also cannot take it. But Yasmin is known for um, helping your skin also look more radiant. I just take it sometimes when I don't want to get my period if I'm going to uh, if, if I'm going on holiday or I'm going somewhere that I do not want to get my period because periods can be very very inconvenient and we all know that and the bloating and the pain and everything sucks but for birth control uh, it helped me reduce my pain when I get my period now uh, my skin is still doing super super well because of the treatments and my skincare routine so birth control is definitely not the cause of how my skin looks. Okay, I feel that skincare and treatments is something that you guys uh, should focus on more because the results are definitely more long term and it is more permanent. So this comes to the end of my video and if you guys have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below and so that I can answer you guys and tell you more about my experience if I did not mention some things. 
So thank you so much Celepi for sending me all the products and also to help me with my skincare routine. So if you guys are interested, just check out the links in my description box below and you'll be able to purchase it and read up on all of them there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!